Okay, hello YouTubers, and today I'm doing another Doctor Who rip-offs type video, although as you can see by this first image, I'm throwing some weird shit in there. So, yeah, and the screenshot, when did I take this? Bloody hell. July 2023. Bloody hell. So, yeah, as you can see from these, just... Yeah, custom zombie eleventh doctor and Amy figures, which it's uh, you just kind of go okay. Why are they worth seventy five pound? Yeah, I think it's pushing it a bit, but to be honest, a zombie. You know, if you dig one, a zombie. Amy and uh, Zombie Eleventh Doctor. To be honest, you know, the work has gone into it, so it's hard to really call it a rip-off, really, but yeah, would I pay that for those? No. Like, it, maybe, it, for me, it would be like 25 quid max. But then plus postage, 420 post, like, come on. Come on. But, yeah, it's just stuff like this, you just go, why? Then there's just stuff like this that I just find, which I don't know where else to put it in. But, yeah. It's a very interesting PS5 controller. Mm. Moving on. Now, this one is just because it's... Wrong, first of all. Seventh Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. Nope. That's, that's not a Seventh Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. I mean, the Seventh Doctors and the Eighth Doctors is the same screwdriver, but that isn't either. That's the Fourth Doctor Sonic. And as you can see, it has got some wear and tear on it. Like, particularly if you look at the pictures, a lot of the paint is coming off. It's got scratches and everything on it. Like, for £25, or better stuff, uh, like, for something loose like this, I would expect it to basically be in, you know, pretty much, if not perfect condition, like, you know, pretty much, like, basically not this. Like, the typing error is wrong and that, but that's, you know, whatever. But the fact that the condition of it is so shit, it's just really really bad like uh and the thing is it's probably worse in real life that picture's probably making it look a bit softer than it is but uh yeah you can see like most most of the paint particularly around the handle is just basically either rubbed off or is just being scratched off so yeah no i think we have duck two davros figure now this is the radio control Davros. And uh, if we take a look at the picture. Yeah. What the hell has happened to him? I've got a feeling. That he's probably fallen. From some great height. And it's uh, basically knocked off. Th three of his hemispheres. At least the ones we can see. And it's probably hit something blue. Where it scuffed uh, the hemisphere there. But yeah. It also just looks really dirty and tatty as well. But, yeah, 20 quid? No. I don't think it's worth 20 quid. I've also just noticed he's uh, missing uh, his the tops of his uh, switches there. So, yeah. Just, no, like, basically £5 maximum, and that is mainly just for parts, more than anything else. Oh, I could take more screenshots of him. But, yeah. Now, this is interesting. This is why I was looking for Doctor Who scuff. And this came up. Set. What is it? Fuck knows. Yeah, I, I hate listings like this where it's just basically an eBay will put up a listing and it's like, oh, I will add the information to it later. No, 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 no. You add the information to it immediately. Because you could be buying fucking anything. Plus, I guess I know this would end in a day. 
who is going to bid on an item that has basically got no description for it and no picture? Why? Ah. So, yeah, if you thought Destroyed Cassandra was a rip-off, well, you can have a Destroyed Destroyed Cassandra figure, <laughs> basically, where it's just the brain and the base and that's it. I mean, literally, this isn't worth 99p, never mind 99p, plus 2.99 delivery. Like, to be honest, you could put this in an envelope and send it, probably. But, yeah, I'd be interested to see whether anyone actually bid on this. Like, seriously, like, the only reason people want a destroyed Cassandra, like, is basically because, you know, it's a, it's a little bit meme-worthy, and that's because of uh, the Ashings video on it. But other than that, yeah... Not a figure you clamber after. Now this. This is not a rip off. It isn't. But what is. Is the. Extremely rare. Yeah. This is a point here. Not for basically. You know. The figure being. A rip off. It's actually. A decent price actually. Pretty good for, especially considering it's brand new. I think the postage is a little bit much for it, but not too ridiculous. But uh, extremely rare. Uh, nope, it is not extremely rare. In fact, it is probably one of the most common eleven sculptor figures you will find, because there was tons of them. In fact, so many that they had so many left over that uh, when they did that US wave back in. What was it, 2014, 2015? They had so many of these left over that they were able to just shove that in that wave. That was one of the reasons it was in that wave. Because they just had so many of them left over. So, yeah, extremely rare. No, not at all. And I don't know if it's just the picture, but it looks like it's maybe slightly, ever so slightly sewn bleached. Uh, the box, I mean, I don't know. Might just be the picture itself, but yeah. And uh, yeah, this, this eBay seller literally lists every single figure that they have as extremely rare. Everything is extremely rare. Yes, the uncle figure is extremely rare. The Series 2 Rose Tyler is extremely rare. Like, literally everything is listed as extremely rare. Whereas, basically, in reality, pretty much none of them are. And my god, the amount of bloody Professor Yana gift sex I have seen brand new on eBay. Plus, £10 postage for that one. Why? Why is it £10 postage? Plus, also... You know, if you're going to list something as extremely rare, you know, commit to it, put, put a ludicrous price on it. So, yeah, basically, I don't know who this is for, but basically for someone who has no knowledge of Doctor Who figures, but also wants to buy them brand new and sealed and that. Now, seven Starlick model kits are mm, uncommon and that but are generally expensive basically and for three one fifth steel ones so yeah these are the slightly larger ones you know I don't know 800 pound for me no that is far too close to Full size Dalek prices. Because, um, like, for example, used full size Daleks, well, they used to be, you used to be able to get one for not much more than this. Now, eh, maybe a bit, maybe, like, for example, a used, you know, or maybe custom made full size Dalek would usually be looking at around a grand and a half to. Maybe two grand, but this this is really teetering on it. 
And yeah, they are nice and that, but for me, like, this one's also yellowed considerably, actually. Uh, whatever paint they use got they've made it yellow quite a bit, but yeah, no. If these were, I don't know, four, four, four to five hundred pound, I'd say, yes, they're expensive for what they are, but you know, their value, that's where their value and that's, you know, kind of risk, but eight hundred, no. And then again, plus postage. Mm. Yeah, no. And this, which. Yeah, if you thought that uh, the David Tennant version of a TARDIS uh, kid's wardrobe was a new product. No, 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 here we are. And I just love marvelling at this bloody odd packaging. So you've got a kid who's, you know, cosplaying as the fifth doctor. And for some reason, uh, you've got two Chinese ki kids... Uh, Cosplaying as Nissa and Tegan, and that there, I don't know what what it is about that. I just, but uh, yeah, initially I thought it was just ra two random Chinese cakes that they just decided to Photoshop on there. But then I noticed the clothes are meant to be Nissa and Tegan, I think. Otherwise, it is just completely random. But yeah, the price on this, like, no, absolutely not. Like, who is paying that much for this? No. This one I will excuse the postage on because obviously it's from the US, so makes sense. But, uh, yeah, just sorry. But, what, why? Like, to be honest, you could probably make your own for less. If you could find scans of it, you could make basically a clone of it using that material. So, yeah. But, uh, it is an interesting thing and something you don't see very often, I guess. But, just no way with it in this hell. Anyway. So, this would have been before it was released. Um, when was this? August 2023. So, yeah, this was a pre-order for a History of the Dark Sect 13. And, uh, yeah, it's interesting that it... Pre-order. Hmm. Interesting. Now, the thing is, when the History of the Dark Sects from last year actually did come out, since B&M doubled their orders on them, people were actually able to get them. And because of this, basically the prices on them on eBay were pretty reasonable. They're still pretty reasonable right now. You can pretty much find uh, last year's History of the Dalek sets for around £30-40, pound, which is much more reasonable than previous years, particularly to Americans, because obviously they've got no choice other than to buy through eBay or third-party sellers. But, yeah, £60, no. At least the postage was free. But notice two were already sold. And notice uh, they, they, they had five in total. So, yeah, so unless this person had some sort of connections or worked at B&M, you know, they had to pretty much guarantee that they'd be able to get five of these within that uh, selling window. So, yeah... Plus also this was like well over a month I think. What was this? 16th of August, yeah. Mm. Was this a month? Maybe just gone to a month before they actually came out. So yeah, pushing it a bit. And this was interesting. Um, This, this uh, I found a website um, I was randomly browsing. The internet, um, that's I used <laughs> a screenshot of my video for their top their tagline of 18 inch like because you can see uh, the bloody crack in the wall behind the, them. 
I just found that interesting. That they decided to use that for them. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Because I've taken pictures of my 18 inch garlics, which looks far better than those. Uh, that screenshot they've taken. And that. And to be honest, by the looks of the screenshot, I don't think they even had it set to the highest resolution. Because it looks fuzzy as hell. That video was shot in HD in 1080p. And yeah, it just looks so fuzzy for some reason. And they'll have cropped it, but yeah. Like, you could just ask me, I could send you some better pictures. But oh well. Anyway, there's this. Hmm. So, this is a prop from It Takes You Away. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted a prop, out of all the props in the show that I'd want, this would not even be on my radar. Like, you know, but for a prop from the show, I can't remember how much this actually went for. As you can see, it's bare, it's a prop that is Basically, barely visible and in the background. It is an interesting looking thing. I will say that. It's probably more. It's more interesting than the episode itself. It's actually from. So. Yeah, I can't really call it a ripper. I mean, if you wanted a, if you wanted a screen used prop from Doctor Who, it was probably you know a bargain, type thing. I mean, to put that in any sort of horror type film, there you go. Uh, yeah, just an interesting thing there. Ah, oh, yes. 11th Doctor Paradigm figure, rare Star Wars Trek. So you're combining three different uh, properties together. Okay. And also rare. Uh, it's not, for one. And number two, uh, it's the radio-controlled uh, version. The 5-inch infrared radio-controlled version that has the little infrared sensor there to battle them. And it doesn't even have an eye stalk. And no way on earth is that postage 8 95 And also has a bit of a bent dome, which means possibly the dome lights me, uh, the wire that goes up. To flash the dome likes may be broken. Who knows? But yeah, this we'll come back to this in a minute. But uh, this was on well, it says there, thirtieth of August. Anyway, twelve inch Dalek reading lamp, which this, if you just look from these better pictures of it here. Someone took a Product Enterprise Genesis Dalek, for some reason painted the eye discs and the eye completely black. Don't know why, but okay. And uh, took out the gun and attached a USB port to it. And one of those uh, bendy night reading lights. Uh, for some reason one of those... Uh, they cut a hole in the top where they can put a bulb uh, through as well. Yeah, and also put a random clock in the side. Which, the way it is, like, clocks like that, because, like, why bother putting it in? It looks so much worse for it. Plus, it's hard to even tell what the time is accurately at all. Like, I honestly don't get clocks like that where you... Literally, just like you know, you don't know exactly what time it is. You just like assuming, just like, eh, it's like probably, I don't know, ten ish, ten ish past three, maybe. Assuming, but yeah. In terms of rip, I mean, if you wanted that, I guess, but it's just like, why would, I don't know, I couldn't really, I don't know if I could call that a rip, it's just a thing of just like, why? I mean, fair enough if you wanted to do it for yourself, but 
Yeah, I'm not sure who wants it. Just saying. Like, for me, if I got my hands on that, uh, I would probably just uh, basically gut it into a destroyed Dalek. Probably. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. It says here in the description, Old and Dalek. Yeah, misspelling. Converted into a desktop night lamp, reading lamp, phone charger, clock, etc. Two port USBs. He's so cheap to use and interchangeable light bulbs available. Supplied with items, picture one. Okay. Uh, I would not use that to charge my phone. Also, uh, yeah, I'd say a uh, USB cable from Powerland. And I think that bulb was available from Pangland as well. Yeah. And... <laughs> oh, screen use prop uh, Doc 2 jacket from Adult Parody Spoofing 2014. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want... The thing is, like, out of all the props, like, even if it is from a spoof, like... From a adult, basically, like I don't, I don't know who wants, you know, a prop from a porn parody. Well, I know certain types of people who would want one, but still, yeah. I mean, at least it's cheap. Well, if you're living in the US, obviously in the UK, fucking all the postage is currently double what that price is, but. Yeah. No. I mean, was that is that is that one of the Cos Daddy ones? Uh, one of those Cos Daddy uh, replica cokes. So, yeah, I'd rather have one of those, which would probably cost less, and also be clean. I mean, I'm assuming they probably did clean it, but. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, God. What the, the fact that this is in an EB listing. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. The fact that this is in an EB listing just makes it all the funnier. Oh, God. Oh, Alex Lee, the script. This is an actual screen worn 10th cut to coat from uh, Wood Rocks uh, 2014 Doctor Adult Film. This is the only one acquired by the production for use. I can believe that. Worn by Chris Slater, not David Tennant. Uh, both during filming and in publicity photos. Chris Leah has sadly passed away. Okay, he died on the 19th of April 2021 in his sleep. See the PG rated. I don't think I call them PG. I call them censored, but you know. I wouldn't call them something you should be see showing a kid. That would be appropriate anyway. Uh, you will have to Google to search for the R rated ones that cannot be shown here. No shit. But then they they start to talk about themselves for some reason. It's like I am two hundred and fifty pounds and six foot tall, and the jacket is very snug on me. Why they had to say that? It just feels really. I think that's probably why a screenshot. Just like the fact. Why you're buying this as a screen roll, roll memorabilia only? It cannot be returned if it doesn't fit you. $18 shipping the US and $50 outside the US. Nope, that's 60 So the description is fucking lying. If you win more than what well, my listings, I would gladly come back buying shipping charges to save you money. If it ends up costing less than you paid, I will sh so refund the money. Okay. 
Once again, this is from a 2013 adult parody movie, not the original BBC series. Okay. Ah, yeah. This isn't a rip-off. This is just like... Have character changed their packaging? Or are these some kind of knockoffs? Yes. Yeah, abs absolutely. No knockoffs. In B&M. Like, I know B&M sells, you know, cheap stuff. But they don't sell knockoffs. Okay. Well, when it comes to toys, anyway. They don't sell knockoff toys. So, yeah. Just saying. Fucking idiot sometimes. Ah, and here's that Dalek again. So, yeah. If we go back to that Dalek, just for a quick refresher, there it is. £75. Obviously, Hank... And that was back uh, on the 30th of August last year. Well, by the 9th of September, after it clearly hangs sold, knock a fiver off. I'm sure it's going to sell. So, yeah, I think I'll leave it here for this one. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. And, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to do another Doctor Who uh, rip-offs, but there we go.